Yeah, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in case you are new to Blender, I will advise you to watch other videos or if you want me to do a video concerning how to move stuff around Blender, you can drop comments in the comment section. So the first thing you will do here is to add a cube, then scale it down, then size along the X and Y axis. Then you add a loop cut with Ctrl R in edit mode and add another loop cut. Then selecting the faces of the table, I mean the table head, then you select the two faces and drag it down. Scale it and then drag it down as I've done it here. So this process is actually not necessary. I mean the one I'm doing right currently. So I'll just forward the video. I'll make it a little bit faster than what I'll be doing. Because you can have a plain table, but I don't just want anything simple, that simple. So you select the corresponding vertices and then add a face by pressing F. Then separate them and separate the faces rather. Then you add a solidify modifier just to make it thick. Then add another cube to scale and size it down, then move it forward just to form the drawer. And obviously, I'm going to be adding a, I don't want it to be one drawer because it's going to be too simple also. So uh, with Ctrl D, with Shift D, add the, I duplicated it and then drag it down. Just to make the other drawer. So what I'm actually doing here is, is not necessary, so you don't need to, it's just to simplify how to view for modification. So I am changing the color for modification, just know that this color doesn't mean the color will really appear, like the color of your table will be red or white when you render, it's just for me to view it very well. So you extrude it with E in edit mode, then add a solidify modifier to then position the drawer as well just to make it not too close and not too far away from the table especially not too far away from the table and then I added the circuit then scale it down then this can be gotten by extruding sizing and extruding so with k i used the k the knife it is just like loop cuts if you are if you know what i'm talking about it's like just like loop cuts so use k to initiate the knife two so then i deleted the face then i added under q just to move i want to form a key right now so i added a cube then I scaled it down. Then I drag it along the y-axis. Then scale it again. Then I rotated it. And rotate by using Control Shift R. Then I just positioned it well, just to make sure I'm getting the right point in which the key is going to be going into the drawer. So with this, I scaled it down, scaled the face in edit mode, then I extruded, and then scaled it again, just to form, you can use your own, this is just my own, that's how I feel the key, the key can be even as <laughs> regular as this, let's say, but it depends on what you actually want, so I will say this is my key, so I added a torus, also added the torus also just to form the head of the key then i made it very small and then i sized it again i duplicated this stuff to form the rings holding the two keys together because i'll be having another key i don't want it to be just one key so i'm still in in edit mode then i'm done with this then I just try to find a way to to duplicate the key inside. 
so I don't want to recreate this again so I duplicate the key then I with L you click L then link it's going to link the ones that you are not using there because I'm not using the other one I don't want a under ring again there with L you select that one alone then that means link the one that is actually linked to the surface of the other ring then you delete that and you can see the small particle I also deleted it yeah it. then you rotate I rotated so you can repeat the same process to get your table and you can also add stuff to feel okay this thing is right and this thing is wrong you feel is wrong for example you can you can choose to make your drawer just one it's not really necessary you don't need to follow up every step then I scaled it down because I want the key to be like this so yeah I separated all that is joined to this particular box round box then I duplicated it with control shift D then along the y axis so that's done I'm done with the drawers so I just dragged it a little bit a little bit up because I feel there should be space for for the handle I just pause this video and play it just to know to follow up the steps you are not really getting it so I'm just trying to position the handle although this handle I also added some modifiers like added you can add any modifier you can try to bevel it just to make sure okay it's still the shape of your of your handle so then after you are done with this you also know that you need it on the other handle so just make sure you are done with everything then you duplicate and then add it to the other drawer so the two drawers are set right now then to add a book then you add a book and form it to the shape of just one book then add a array modifier add the array modifier and this let me see this bible so I added a bible or a quran as the case may be because i'm not drawing anything on it so it can be a quran or a bible anyone so array modifier then on z since you are adding it up then it's going to be z just get the array modifier you understand what i mean so i made the z one in case you want to know just to make it overlap each other so guess what guys i want to make a cake <laughs> so i'm adding a cake currently i sized it and sized it along the z axis too yeah so i'm forming my cake then i dragged it i moved it up i have to check if the stuff is not showing under because that's been really going to be bad for the modeling so with this then you can separate the other ones this is actually gotten from me duplicating and resizing the normal cylinder so it's just pretty the same so i size this i size the face up then from the top view i added another cylinder just to and i also added the multi resolution modifier then i made it for just and i sized it again i feel the stuff is too big and it's not making the cake that nice so i duplicated the cake it's not exact so i added and i i can't really take it through the steps but you can just read or if you want me to explain how i got this 
how I got this stuff to separate. So you can just work on your boolean modifier. I actually use this by boolean modifier. So guess what I'm going to form next, guys. You are not ready for this. <laughs> Escape that up just for the the body or the handle for the yeah yeah it's the ring light yeah you get right so for me the ring light wasn't that wasn't that hard as I thought it would be so I just added some random stuff around it I don't I don't want it to be pain also then with this I added loop cuts like five or so or six. Then just sizing it and rotating the faces and dragging also just to make it go forward. So with this I'm going to add the what they call itself. Should I call it the older what's going to hold the phone or the camera or the phone in case of a small ring light? So, along the way axis, I sized it to make it big, to form a kind of a cuboid. Then using the boolean modifier also. If you want me to put, to, to go deep into this boolean modifier, so that's what I'm using to separate items from under item. This is going to form it's just like I'm pressing the foam and the foam is retaining the stress on it. So it's just safe for this particular modifier. So you pick that and then cause that out, retaining the shape of the other one. Although I don't need this other one again because this is actually what I want. The order of the ring light is always like this. So I pick this one. And deleted it because I honestly don't need it. Then I added under plane. Or you can also add a cube, but I added a plane. You can add a cube. Yeah, then I added a solidify modifier. So you can add a plane, a cube too, and then size it along the z axis. Then this particular step too is not needed. It's just for you're not just to make the table simple or plain. So control R as I said before is used to add loop cuts. E is used to extrude, then L size, R rotates. Then I added this just to form a should I call it a bow right now? Mm -hmm. Just some random stuff. But I'll really call it a bow. So I got this by sizing the cylinder. I'm going to add a very beautiful modifier right now to make it not simple also and after getting the particular position I felt okay this thing is entering the, my table already so I drag it up after shading is smooth shading is smooth can be gotten by just by clicking and you see shade smooth and if you want it to not to be smooth then just go back to your shade flat so the modifier I use here is also the one I said it before, the multi-resolution modifier. So I drag the bottom of this up just to make it flat. It's not going to be pointed in reality, it's going to be flat because I want it to stand. So it's going to stand well like this. So then to the color mode. Then you pick one and yeah this particular step is just to I want the color to be different I don't want it to be plain black for the table so the faces I'm interested in to edit mode then you pick select the faces then you add your color and click on apply so I repeated the same step for to make the books so I added like four books, so I, I will have two colors. Then same for the cake and the decoration. 
just to make everything nice and beautiful then i added a plane everything is about to about to see the beauty of this particular fine table so if you want me to go through or to put you through some other steps i'll be very happy to put you and please like if the video has been helpful to you and also don't forget to subscribe just in case of other videos so this is light i'm adding light so light is not going to show in rendering but it's going to the effect is going to show but it's not going to show as an object it's not going to show as an object it's just going to show like the normal light in reality i mean the triangle is not going to show when you render it shows an outline so then i'm done with the table also so then render i rendered it and then this is my result thank you subscribe to my youtube channel god bless you